What's up guys? Welcome back to HO Power Train here. I'm your host David. So sit back and enjoy the video. Okay, so I know I'm not perfectly dressed for a video right now. These are probably some old clothes I'm wearing because we're going to get messy today. So if you clicked on this channel and you're thinking that this channel is going to be on par, on superb, perfect with things and in, in, in perfect world, well, you're sadly wrong, guys. I am dedicated to the everyday folk on doing things. In other words, it doesn't have to be perfect, folks, okay? So with that being said, I got a little tutorial we're going to do today, and it's going to be something you can follow real easy. It's not going to be something that you have to go and order from a train store or, or a hobby shop or anything like that. It's something you can pick up from your local hardware store, Walmart, any places that does arts and crafts. You can pick this up pretty cheap and do what I'm about to show you. Okay, so I'm gonna take you off the stand here and I'm gonna show you what we got going on. Uh, the last time you seen this Helix here, um, this small Helix on Devil Mountain, of course, was empty. It didn't have nothing, it didn't have no base, it didn't have no, no filler, it didn't have nothing. Now when I say filler, I mean foam. Foam is a filler, gives it structure. You stack and you glue to, and build your mountains, okay? A lot of folks do it different. This is the way I do mine, all right? Again, does not whatever you have, it does not have to be certain kind of foam. As long as you can stack it, build a base, you got it. Uh, again, that's preferably how I like to do my mountains. And today, we're going to be covering it. So, again, you can pick this up at Walmart, anywhere, your arts and crafts store and plaster of Paris. So what we're going to do, we're going to dip this a sheet at a time into a solution of this and that's going to cover this base here okay uh, i'll take you around back to the layout and show you on the back side you can see how i left this middle open that's going to be for a pass for a train pass and i kind of tapered it down into this elevation here to give it you know like it's carved out of rock and out of the the rubble you know that they had to lay this track in you know common sense right I gave it a little sloping and this is all going to be easy to cover with paper towels and whatnot. I still have to go back and put some little pieces of foam, scatter it into the flat spots, give it more of structure. But uh, you should at the end of this video, you know, I'm going to do this in segments. I should be able to show you what it's going to look like with with, um, with cover. So not painted though. So let me cut you off now and I'm going to tape down some track, cover this track with some tape, protect that good. And I'm gonna go ahead and start laying some cover. Hey guys, now we got the the tape on the track, and of course, y'all don't need to see how you tape track. You just protect your track. It's very simple to do. So we got the tape on the track, and now we're getting ready to mix up some plaster of Paris. So this stuff, you put your water to it, it's gonna activate. So you have a limited amount of time to get this onto your layout. Which don't fret, folks. Very simple. Mix it and put it. So I'm not trying to make it hard, let's get going. We're gonna pour it, just like you pour milk. I'll start with half in a cup. Let's try that. It's been a while since I mixed up plaster, plaster of Paris. So we're gonna pour this. And we're gonna start with an old pencil. <laughs> Okay, put a little bit more water. Two parts of that stuff and one part of water. So, you kind of get it like a, a milkshake maybe. Maybe a little bit thinner. No, I'm sorry, thinner. I like to put it runny. Okay, so it's runny. Okay, so we got that going. I'm gonna grab our paper towels. And start laying it. Dip it in, coat it good, okay. Now keep in mind we have to paint all this so you won't, it's not gonna be a blue paper towel, right? And that's it. It leaves like a, a film and you just lay it. Pull it out. You will get messy, guys, so 
Don't be afraid to play with get messy with this shit. Slap it on. I gotta go be careful so I don't get it stuck where I don't wanna get it stuck, so. Other than that, everything is free flowing, guys. It's not, you know, you kinda gotta mat it down. Just work it in, you know. All right, guys, let me cut you off and I'm gonna continue doing this, this uh, covering action onto the top and we're gonna show you what's going on. Alrighty folks, I'm gonna go ahead and close this video out and um, kind of give you, so I'm hoping you kind of got the drift of what we um, did. You can see how I brushed a little brown on there. It's not gonna stay, it's just something to highlight different parts. Uh, and I just simply brushed over the plaster to show you. You can see, um, of course, the foam, the way it's stacked on the backside also versus it covered with its canvas of uh, shop towels. I believe it works well and it looks legit. And once you paint all this, whatever color you want, it's gonna look like the real deal. So I'm gonna show you the backside of it and we're gonna close it on out, guys. That is uh, without highlights or any color on it. And you can see how the foam, once you cover it, it gives it a, um, a rock looking texture, the way it sags in, wrinkles. You know, and everything else with the way the shop towel does. You may have to go every once in a while and poke at it. It's kind of steaming in, but you can always go back and brush plaster to fill in gaps. So it's no big deal. Uh, that's the simplest solution to building a mountain, in my opinion. And it looks legit. So let me get back to it, guys, and I'll catch you in the next one.